So I was very angry at uh, old Tim. Mistake. Justin Warner here today with Tim Dillon, and we are gonna eat the universe. Today we're gonna make a dish that I really don't know what it is. Yeah. But it's, it's gonna be smashed, and it's gonna be spicy. Great. Angry, to be specific. What is the inspiration? It's the Incredible Hulk. There you go. Yeah? That's right. You like the Hulk? He's the best. Yeah, why yeah. so? Power, raw power. I think that's what we need in society. Less thought, more power. Well, let's get cooking. <laughs> All right, so here I have some chicken breast. Uh, this, in my opinion, is the number one most popular protein in the United States. Love a chicken cutlet. This should be good. I want to learn how to do something. All right, so I'm going to butterfly these chicken breasts so that when we smash them out, we get super uniform, thin cutlets. Right. Now, do you pound them out with, like, a, a one of those? We use uh, Thor's hammer sometimes. Oh, do you really? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's crazy. He's the ultimate in tenderization. That's wild. But today, we're going to use a uh, good old-fashioned frying pan. I love it. I love cooking where you can really get into it, take your anger out, which I think this is what this recipe is. That's Chefs are very uh, like angry and unhappy people, kind of like comedians, so I get it. I get that buildup of rage, you know? All this genius no one pays attention to. The struggle is real, my friend. I'm with it. Why do you wrap them up? I never understood this. Why do you wrap them up in cellophane? Why don't you just go at them? Right, so chicken in, in general, a lot of people are nervous about cross-contamination, but also it keeps the meat from sticking to the tenderization device. Ah, okay. So without further ado, we're gonna like Hulk smash this. Let's do it. Shall we? Yeah, go. Yeah, that's right. Great, thank you. What's the angriest you've ever been on stage? I was in, uh, I was in Albany and there was a woman uh, and she was running around the back of the club and she, was, she had chicken fingers in her mouth and I was very angry at myself for not entertaining her adequately. That she felt the need to get up from her seat and uh, you know run around the back of the club in the mall. Every day is a blessing, thank you. Now we're gonna dredge this. Dredge it yeah. in flour. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know some terms. We're beating the eggs because we're yeah. so mad. Angry. Rage. Okay. Crusting it with store-bought breadcrumbs, yeah, which I absolutely. like. absolutely. I like. I think people that make their own breadcrumbs, again, they're a problem. The thing about store-bought breadcrumbs is that they've been precision milled. Yeah. You know? I, f I, I agree with you. Thanks. These are purple potatoes. Wow. Yeah, so we've actually uh, pre-cooked these. So now we smash them with a plate? We don't smash the plate. Okay, interesting. This is gonna provide uniform smashing without obliterating the potatoes. Interesting, right? so you do it with two plates. There you go. It's time to make some sauce. So I got some oil in my pan here. Yeah. It's starting to shimmer. This is an onion. Wow. Is that a Vidalia onion? No, I think it's just a yellow onion. Okay, We don't have the budget for Vidalia. Fair enough. This is a jalapeno pepper, and it's going in. That's so much. They didn't tell you? This is garlic. So do you know what we're making here? Rage food? Yes. Ang is that what it's called? We're gonna make a green arrabbiata. Wow, anger. Yes. Yes. It means angry. When your, your kid fails out of college, this is the first dinner home. Rage. Well, it's not spicy enough yet. Oh my God. Yeah, let's add some crushed red chili flakes. This is great. Let's deglaze. Let's do it. Oh, here we go, here's the fire. Yeah. I like that. We'll add it in post, I'm sure. Right? Get Just add a give fun it, flame and post, us, make it look like, you know. Give us some explosion graphics, yeah. okay? So now, what is the purpose of deglazing, other than the, the flame, which is very theatrical? Microscopic bits are getting cooked to the bottom of the pan. They are highly flavorful. See, there's one of those bits right there. Flavor bits exactly. stuck to the pan. We need to go and get them. And now some parsley. <laughs> It's a lot of parsley. There's too much of everything in this. There's no proportions. Well. This is like the Hulk would cook. Just grab things and throw it in there. Right? This is crazy. Wait until you see how much spinach we put in. Oh my God. Yeah, that it's whole It's very ball. green themed for the Hulk. Exactly. Now that will all cook down to like nothing. one fork full of spinach. Yes, nothing. That's why I don't like vegetables because they're frauds. Just gonna wilt this spinach. Butter, baby. Butter, baby. You need it. You do? Yeah. Let's give this a turn in the blender. This goes right into the blender. Yeah. You don't need to cool it or anything? Nah. No. And now this is going to literally, in front of us, become a sauce. Yeah. Wow. Let's give it just a squeeze of lemon. Take a waft. It smells great. Would Hulk eat this? 
I, 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 I think media. Bruce Banner would. Like, yeah. you know, like if he was going out and, and trying to not be angry. Right. So I'm about ready to fry these good guys up. Yeah. While I'm doing that, yeah. I found that a lot of comics get inspiration from anger. Yes. What makes you angry? Everything. I mean, everything. I don't like brunch. Breakfast should be short and tragic. Look at that, that's a perfectly golden brown chicken cutlet. How do you feel? I feel great about that. It's not making you angry? No, that doesn't make me angry. All right. So now we're frying up these purple potatoes. Yeah, now how do you know when they're done? Well, they're already fully cooked. Right. So now it's just like eyeballing and you know, if there's some crispiness that I'm seeing. Give them a little texture. Yeah, yeah. give them a little texture. This is a real Hulk dish. Yeah. His food just overflowing the little plate, hulking it. out. I think you've seen my vision, my friend. I get it. I'm seeing it. Sauce. The green arrabbiata sauce. Look at that, right over the chicken. Right? So I'm only putting it on half so that it doesn't sog it out. Yeah, no, absolutely. Looks so good. Tim, I believe this dish is complete. We've made ourselves a, a Hulk smashed arrabbiata. I'm excited to taste this. Good. Then I'll see you at the table of tastes. Shall we? Let's do it. I'm excited. Really good. It's angry. Mmm. It's hot. Yeah. Potatoes have some texture. Yeah. No, I dig it. I love the sauce. The sauce is where it's at. Thank you. Yeah. So, you're on stage. Is that you or is that an alter ego? Good question. I think it's an exaggerated version of me. Right. I think it's half me, half the alter ego. It's like if Hulk stopped in the middle. Mm. You know, didn't fully Hulk out, but just, you know. Yeah, like Grey Hulk. Yeah, yeah. Right. Tim, where can we find you? Uh, I have a special on Netflix, a show called The Comedy Lineup. I'm episode eight, and I have a special on Comedy Central On Demand, Tim Dillon, The Half Hour. So check that out, my podcast, Tim Dillon's Going to Hell. And you can find my live shows at timdillancomedy.com. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Eat the Universe. <laughs>